Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honotrak and we are playing Stellaris on Insane Difficulty with the newest DLC Apocalypse as the Draconian Imperium. Welcome back, uh, Scourge is still up and running. I have um, gone ahead and built up these ring worlds where I could, we're still colonizing that planet. I've also gone ahead and actually um, kicked out the resource replicators on Lumos 4. I don't think we're going to need them for a while, I'd rather just have... A decent um, energy credits income. This will flip into positive in a little bit because um, our naval capacity is balked again on loading in. Looks like the starbase um, um, fleet um, capacity calculation is actually off. It's 332. It should actually be something like 400 or something. Um, right. Uh, we're busy bombarding down that first world of the Scourge. Um... That was actually a good comment um, telling me to name the Defiance Defense the Imperial Shield. That was actually a really good idea. Um, I'm going to call it the first. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Ro Roman numerals. So Imperial Shield 1. Uh, we might not have more of those. Uh, we actually have Gluteus Maximus available. So now is your time to shine, Gluteus Maximus. Um, get your butt up and uh, <laughs> or get off your ass and actually go in there and defend um righty we're colonizing that habitat we're colonizing that habitat nothing i can do about it we are pushing for a new ring world in acrox how is that one going um yeah 81 percent. we're getting there we're getting there we have a ton of minerals which is really good mineral income is extremely important we have our gateway over here um building these up oh actually i haven't put anything into these things um so they're gonna be the new defense stations at the edge of our space i'm actually kind of of the opinion that we kind of just throw anchorages on them as well just screw it anchorages everywhere why it isn't already built up to the max um, Anchorage is actually going to do a good thing for us. We can still put defense platforms on them. Uh, the main upside of having fighting modules on the stations is that each fighting module increases like the hull points and stuff. Yeah, ship hull points, uh, oh, which means station hull points and armor hit points gets increased significantly. Um, right, we also do want to pull the Salt Invictus, which I'm just going to put on the number 9 now. So... I actually want to put Salt Invictus into the Sayama system, which includes traveling through Defiance, but that should be okay. I wonder if the other empires are still going to be mad if I glass um, a Scourge world. Maybe. Okay, yeah, we're getting reinforced in that system. Uh, oh, yeah, because there, there's actually a, a second planet in the system as well. God damn it. Okay, the two... There are two planets in that one that both belong to the Scourge. I really don't like that. That just annoys me. Okay, moving on. Moving to the gateway. Yeah, we're on normal speed. We shouldn't really be at that. Okay. Nice thing is that we can basically leave the system right away. That is, that is useful, I'd say. Um has to travel through the system, but we should probably be able to do decent damage here. Um, are we not? Like, yeah, come on. Bombard that down. Actually, it looks like it might just be better to bombard that with all our might. Uh, just maybe shield the other one or something like that. That might be good. There's a big fleet in that system. Come on, it's just 15k. Why are you showing three stars? 15k is not a lot. Even that shield over here is less, uh, is bigger. Okay, we're at 1,030 of 900. So we're, we're a bit over, but it's not as bad as it used to be on loading in. So that's something, something gained. Yeah, we should be able to sterilize that world. Come on. How far are you? Yep, okay, we're on our way. There's a battleship trying to merge up with them. We're going to go over here and pacify these Scourge people. Just pacify them, uh, whereas the fleet is going to bombard that one down. But it actually takes a good long while, I'd say. So I think we just want to shoot on that one. I mean, it's, it probably sends more of a message to the Scourge if we just pacify the worlds instead of um, just bombarding them down. 
At least I like to think so. I mean, it's it's a dumb AI. How, how, how much can it really feel? But still. Yay! Ringwall construction is done. So let's go ahead. Build the frame. <clears throat> we definitely want to do that. Um, didn't I send... Oh yeah, you're building building gateway to the construction site uh, in Northwest Tower. We definitely need one in Great Old Cemetery as well. I just want to be able to jump into like the important points. We have one in Tijira over here, and we have one in Cobra, so pretty well equipped to jump into the, well, let's say eastern part of our space, but not the other one. Okay, and these guys are all using my new gateways. I think that's okay. I think I'm okay with that. Um, Oh, wait! No! <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, da damn, da damn, da damn, da damn, da damn, da damn. Okay, that place is done. There's a barren and rocky world. It is a terraforming candidate, but nothing else. Um, I kind of want to have that fleet here. We're going to keep the, the Imperial Hammer 1 in there. Um, but I think we might want to fight these guys. They're moving on to Defiance. Um, actually, probably might want all of them. Let's just have all of these guys move into the Havan system. We have ships trying to move, to merge up, I think. We have 40k in here, but that's that's not enough to really fight a 300k fleet. Get away as far as we, as you can. Where's the hammer? Come on, move on up. They they're gonna come from that uh, from that place. We want the we want the range drop on them. They're moving into the defiance system now. It would probably be better to fight them in defiance instead of out here because we don't get the home territory bonus. Complete. But that's okay, I guess. I think we can live with that. I hope, I think, I guess. Um, how far are you? 40% charging weapon. Enemy okay, yeah, so now we're in battle with these guys. Uh, let's see how that goes. I mean, that's a Titan, that big weapon going off. Did actually not kill any of these, which is a bit disappointing. Just see the swarmlings. Yeah, come on, just kill the brood mothers. I mean, how difficult can that be? They're huge targets in space. Come on. Oh man. I really don't know why these guys insist on flying towards the enemy instead of holding back. Even with the artillery and the line tactics, they're still like, yay, charge! Instead of doing what's best. These guys are just chilling over here with an aggressive stance. Just, yeah. I really don't like them being so close to the Defiant system. Which means I guess I have to take um, offensive action. Which means we're going to bring these guys back to Defiant Station. Uh, what about you? You're also just in an aggressive stance. Alright then. 54% weapon charge. We can always jump that guy out uh, if push comes to shove. We have these guys in the hunter system. Oh, they're actually bombarding that planet. Oh, they're invading it. No! Ah, uh, Will be... Oh, yeah. I don't think I can reach these guys in time. That is gonna suck. Hmm. We might want to move the Imperial Shield out of there. 66%? Oh yeah, we might want to go up to fast speed too. Uh, when's the time to do the big refit? That's the question, right? That is indeed the question. Ideology castle spell. Can I use the stop Colossus castle spell against us for some reason? Okay. Sent these guys to repair. Because we want to be fully repaired if we actually try to take on that fleet. They are in a decent spot in the system. So, like, they're not going to be super close range once we move in. Okay. Yeah. Get repaired. 
I guess we, we could probably also just um, click the reinforce buttons. Like we can go unre unenforced um, into the battle, but that will be okay. Construction mm -hmm. complete. Okay, they're all they're all done. Let's move into there. Leave the Imperial Shield behind. Aggressive stands, idle. Still not doing anything. Hey guys, I'm actually I'm firing my weapon. Just just saying. I'm currently shielding you filthy scourge people on the planet Talionok. Just saying. Okay. Come on. Hold fast. Fight with all your might. Uh, I can see us taking tons of losses here. We will still win. I guess we really gotta go for the redesign after that. Go way more armor heavy. Okay, they're down to 200k. Yeah, that is not good. This is not good. Okay, then. All right. I see how it is. <sighs> I mean, okay, we won the battle. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, right, of course. Attack the defiant system. No, please. Be my guest. We're gonna have to move back into defiance, like, right away. How are you coming along? Oh, you upgraded. Right. More hangar bays. It's gonna make it beefier, but... Uh, this needs to be at least a fortress, so let's bring that up. I'm still firing our weapon on Talionok. We're already 65% there. That's definitely going to help. Just taking their planets away from them is probably going to be a massive help. Come on, get out. Get out of there. Expanded. Um, we have unemployed pops. So that is going to take care of itself. I think that was the habitat, maybe? No. Oh yeah, right. No, it was the habitat. Okay, hello. Um, I'm gonna build that one up right away. Normally I wouldn't, but uh, I will this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Symbol of purity, and then the rest just solar processes. I'm glad that these guys, uh, that these are at six. I actually had a discussion with viewers on the stream. If it was six or four. If they were at four, like. That would really be no more point in building habitats, although judging from one of the recent uh, teasers by Martin Unwood, the, the game director, we might actually see like bigger habitats if you have the master engineers. Apparently there is like a way to have bigger habitats. That would be really cool actually, because master engineers at the moment is a little bit underwhelming. Like yes, you guarantee the mega construction, but Okay, these guys are moving. Uh, they're not moving very fast, but they are moving. At least we'll be fighting on our own home turf. And we are getting reinforced, so that's good. That gateway is really worth a lot. Okay, Talianok has been shielded. Yep. Alright then. Um, come into Defiance. We definitely want to go into other, into other systems do that now how are the other civilized states are you mad that I shielded the world kinda I'd say kinda close borders really no I'm gonna I'm gonna open my borders for these guys um, I think that's fair I think that's fair they actually getting hit by the scourge I'm also gonna open my borders to the Regerian block so that they can move through. The Gagassi, I think, already have open borders. Yeah, close borders. What about the Emorgs? Yes, okay. They also have open borders. I'm probably gonna allow the sacred... Yeah, these also have open borders. Um, what about the Sidematus? I am gonna open my borders for the Sidematus as well, so they can move through if they want to. Um, where's your federation fleet? I have no idea. Man, these guys are close to my to my borders. I really don't like that. <laughs> Come on, do something about it. They are the collectors. 
Do you need open borders? No, they already have it. Ah, uh, they're fighting the great old ones again. It's a defensive war. Okay, so they're being attacked. Nah. All the other AI empires definitely have their priorities straight. Galaxy being attacked by the Scourge. Ooh, I need to do a quick land grab. <laughs> I'm sure that's totally gonna matter once the Scourge has eaten all the other empires. It's just great. It's just perfect. Okay, we got the mana compression, giving us more armor hit points. Um, Strikecraft damage. Kind of tempted to use that. Defense platform damage is also nice. I mean, building build speed increase will actually help us fill the ring worlds, but it's not like a super pressing concern. Whereas getting our fleets to do more damage is kind of super important. Okay, at least these fleets are getting like repaired. They're also getting reinforced. Hammer 4 has taken a ton of damage. Yeah, we need 15k to reinforce that fleet fully. That is a lot of dough. Oh, lots of minerals, rather. Guys. Defend the system, you fools. Okay, these guys should also um, launch fighters and stuff. Okay, yeah, I mean, there, there are ships coming in to reinforce those fleets right away. We do have the higher fire rate. Which means these guys are not going to have a wonderful time fighting us. Okay, yeah, they're going down. That is for sure. Gluteus Maximus now has the arrested development rate. <laughs> ah, right. That is... Really? Come on, man. Come on. At level 2. Like, that is that is a cardinal sitting in a leader. He's probably just like... I've been... I've been not commanding anything for years. I guess a just can't learn anything new and that's why he's just decided to stop trying he's just tired of all the bullshit i understand man i understand hmm. yeah we could use tons of minerals to reinforce all these fleets we really need to how about do we have the only ferris acquisition um active here we do um grand fleet is inactive though yeah we need to push that button again okay reduce ship upkeep increase naval capacity that is like helping us um doubly so now we're getting 2000 minerals again that is much more helpful very good um at the stars oh the production targets are at an end we need that okay yeah now we're talking now we're talking Good. Uh, like we should, we should probably repair these guys, but then at the same time, they need to be reinforced as well. Come on, just return to Defiant Station. Was I mean, we're getting some reinforcements joining up. Yeah, tons of battleships being built. We got to take the next world from them. Do they have any worlds in Tazri? No, they only have the Gateway. Uh, moving to the Sayama system. Well, the Sayama system is kind of empty, my good man. Okay, they're coming through. Holy crap! That's like a million fleet power. <laughs> oh man, we're so hopelessly outgunned at this point. It's not even funny. Production targets. Oh yeah, so these ambitions have just expired. I was just lucky to find out that they weren't there. We still have unemployment. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be okay. Uh, wait, are they gonna... Oh, did they inherit the deactivation from the resource replicators? Okay, then. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, oh, we're in slow speed. That's not something that should be a thing. I'm mean, below maximum fleet power now. Never a good sign. Who took the most damage? Imperial Hammer 4 is still, like, very, very down. I and mean, we're rebuilding a bunch. 
Yeah, I think this is still the time to go for the better ship designs. Solve Invictus is coming in here. Why are you out there? Return to the fleet, you idiots. <sighs> Gonna have two big fleets. Ton of fleets come in there. Sayama, Haban, Defiance. I guess I'm just gonna lure around, lure around that system. I mean, every every heat that I take stops these guys from advancing, I think. And no planets in that system. That's a planet over here, though. And these guys have no way of stopping that, uh, that fleet. That is dangerously close to my borders. Dangerously close. Now, it would all be kind of nice if I could actually buy a fleet from these guys. I mean, no, they're only they're only willing to hire me a leader, which I don't really need. I got I got Gluteus Maximus. No one can do anything against me. Man, is it just me or have they really rebuilt in that area? They seem to have a ton of planets now. I don't like that. Constructor. Oh, they took Kajubus. No, I meant that one, Major. Are they taking that one? Yeah, they're taking it. Damn it. Mega will um, lose their capital planet. Actually, I could probably take them on. If I use my guys. Yeah, we could jump in there directly. Um, use our troops. Actually take them out before they get that gateway system. Because that's a real problem. It's an, uh, they're camping at the exit of the gateway though, so we're gonna, gonna fight a very close range battle. Nope. And we're gonna have these guys come into defiance. We definitely gotta fight off these fleets before we do anything. I cannot lose defiance, because this is very convenient in terms of reinforcing my fleets and everything. Um, how's it going over here? Yeah, okay, we're upgrading to a Star Fortress. That's good. I think two fleets and a fully upgraded station might be enough to fight off a Scourge fleet. Still busy building corvettes, apparently. Some destroyers. Ah, battleships coming through as well, though. Yeah, there's a battleship. Where's that stupid federation? Come on, guys, do something. It's like, uh, it's like on the Titanic. The other guys are still dancing in the ballroom. Yay! Everything's good. Whereas over here, the Titanic is sinking. I can see the iceberg. <laughs> Damn it! I mean, they don't have a ton of fleets in this area, but they're growing. They're growing for sure. Okay, Draconian Forge is almost done. Complete. Okay, man, that gateway is so convenient. What? We're building, rebuilding a Titan? Emperor to Horatio class? No. We're gonna stop that one. I can't do that, right? Without screwing up my designs over here. We have a Trajan class and a an Horatio class. We have another Horatio class. All these guys are like Horatio classes. I really don't want that. Um, these guys lost their Titan. Okay, we're gonna change this. We're gonna change your loadout. Imperial Hammer 4 is gonna have the honor of getting the Ritiarius. So, Hammer 4, no Horatio. We're gonna add the Retiarius. We want that. Um, should we do that right now? It's actually kind of a real shame that our that our Titan died. Okay, that should do it, right? That should get the Retiarius Titan built. Yeah, Retiarius class. Good. Very good. Oh, these guys are just gonna chill out in that system. Oh man. And those guys are coming at us. At least all the other ships have like merged up. 
<clears throat> that Titan is gonna take a while to build, uh, but it's the one that's gonna stop enemy ships from coming after us, so that's that's really good. Or from being able to get away from us. What is our policy here? So, no wait, War Doctrine. So we have, we could go for defense in depth. I actually like the hit and run though. It just minimizes our losses. But maybe weapons range might be better. Rapid deployment, just get that 10% increased weapons range. Might also reduce our losses. I don't know. Okay, trade treaty with the Rujirian block it has ended. Um, resource trade. All right then. Okay, uh, we have the Manila space now. I want everyone to engage. Come on. Move it, you lazy bums. And we're getting good fire rate. It's in our home territory. But the thing is, I really feel like I'm tilting at, at windmills. <laughs> we destroy one fleet and they just move on to another. Looks like they're taking some decent damage now, though. How many did we kill? We killed two brood mothers. We killed a warrior. We still haven't killed the queen. God damn it! I mean, these uh, chances might, might might just be bad. Uh, might just be balked. Maybe it's a display bug or something. Um, I still think. These guys doing? They're still on aggressive. They're moving to the Sayama system. These guys are just chilling over here. That won't help you though. I've shielded that planet. Mm, I really want to stop them from getting Mago. It is a gateway system. We could just shield Maga and then take it. This would be this would be incredibly useful because then I would have access to like that space and that space. If we could travel pretty easily between the two systems. Um, maybe we'll actually attempt this. Even though a bunch of our fleets are not really very fit at this point. I'll let, let them return to Defiance Station. Yeah, you too, Imperial Shield. Come on, move it. Receiving communications. Research agreement. So I would give 879 for 3215. Yeah, all right then. Okay, got to repair our ships. I think I will actually jump into MAGA. If, if those guys are... Where's my fleet? I got to bring my fleet in here. Bring them in. The thing is, are these guys gonna come after Defiance the second I jump out? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I can leave Imperial Shield in there, but it's not really all that threatening to a really big fleet like that one. And the thing is, we might be cut off if we come in here at a point where these guys have managed to take over the planet. Yeah, taking out their army is gonna be good though. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we will actually go ahead jump into Mega. Uh, I'm gonna take our troops with us. Uh, I'm gonna try to counter counter attack Moving to the Z ab system Where are you going? Are you going through the defiance system? Doesn't look like it looks like they're going to hiatus construction complete I'm gonna be very careful here. These guys are moving, no orders. Oh no, they're... What? What? Who's in there? Okay, we've dropped in right on top of them. That's really not what we like. It's totally what these guys like. Might have been foolhardy to do it like that. Um... I kind of would have liked to have that planet destroyer over there at least. And we're gonna send the troops over as well so that we can stop them. I mean, we're losing our fortified position, maybe, in Defiance. 
<clears throat> no, we're also taking a gateway system from them. Yeah, they're down to 100k. Very good. Okay. Thing is... Let's, let's try to take their fleet out. Fleet out. These guys, we gotta we gotta invade with maximum speed here. Taking down their armies because we can't shield that planet as long as it doesn't belong to the scourge. If it goes to the scourge, we're actually gonna like focus it down with our planet destroyer. Okay, that that troops are gone. So let's actually pull all these ships back into defiance. Let's do that like right now. And I'm actually gonna enter enter the orbit of that one again. Set app system, aggressive stance. Okay, we have someone moving into defiance. Oh damn it, that is gonna be rough. That is gonna be incredibly rough. <clears throat> Landing armies, come on. Planetary invasion commenced. Okay. <clears throat> okay, at least yeah, we did it. <clears throat> that was very that was very good and that was also rather important. Have these guys return? Entering the orbit of defiance, which means um, that they might a might be able to get some repairs in before we have to fight that fleet. Uh, maybe not. Maybe no repairs. We might not be so lucky. Actually, not sure if I want the Sol Invictors in there. And we've got a second battle. All right, then. Go after them. Ah, damn it, no! They're killing our troops, you bastards! Yeah, that was my fault, though. That was totally my fault. And apparently those troops um, have absolutely no chance to flee from these guys. These guys can, like, get out of every engagement. Huge, fat queens just vanishing into the vacuum, and then raising whole new armies. My troops, though? Nope. They just get killed. Okay, let's reach into the shard. Hello. Reach into it. Decrease chip upkeep. Research speed. Increased happiness. Well, let's go for the upkeep. Nope. No luck. Great. Great. Absolutely great. Okay, yeah, my ships are incredibly decimated now. That is really not looking good. Um, we gotta think. I mean, we made some progress over here. Ooh, we have the Whirling Bion Armada. Man, these guys are getting crushed. We might come to their defense. Like, if we have another 100k fleet... What are they doing? Moving to the sea armor system. These guys are getting attacked. What else that damn federation? Hmm. Well, I think we still made some progress. We stopped these guys from being taken over. We destroyed one of their um, armies. At the cost of all our own armies. So, you know, we can debate if that was a great victory. We shall probably try to take more of their planets, stop them from pushing out, and maybe we'll actually, yeah, just use that that gateway then and try to move on to Kerjibus, which takes another gateway from them. We really have to stop them from from spreading. We've got to sterilize this whole area. For now, though, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye bye.